Welcome to Sunshine House. This week we're talking about the letter D and our friend Dinah the Dinosaur. She's going to come to school and talk about dinosaurs and that they lived long, long, long ago. And the only place that people can see dinosaurs today are in the museum. So quite a hard thing for children to understand, but a very awesome week. Let's do our jingle, girls. D says D, 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 Dinosaur. I am from the days of yore, and that means days of long ago. We're also going to read the baby animal story that talks about a ride on Dinah the Dinosaur. One of the things we're going to be talking about is that, um, at several times we're going to be focusing on the letter D. So um, one of the things that we have for every letter are the alphabet cards. So these are our D cards. And so what I'll do is I'll show the kids the picture. And so they'll say, I'll say, what is this? And they'll say, dice. And so we'll say the sound. Da, da, da. And so they'll see that dice starts with the letter D as well as da, da, dog and donuts, which are yummy, and doctor. Um, some may call this a horse, but it's actually a donkey, so we'll teach them about the donkey and dirt. So usually after we go through all the cards, we'll go back and we'll count them and we'll see that there's six cards and then we'll brainstorm and we'll kind of think of other words that might start with D. So usually I'll go around for all the kids and we'll see what their name starts with, see if anyone starts with the letter D, um, talking about other things that may start with D and just coming up with other words that we don't have pictures of. Um, one of the books that we're also going to be reading, which is one of my favorites, is called How Do Dinosaurs Eat Their Food? It's actually a series by Jane Yolen and Mark Tigo. Um, I am going to be doing marble painting. Um, most of you probably when you come in you see you know us playing with the marbles and things like that. Well what I'm doing is I'm doing a um, dino egg and it's a, we're talking about big and little too. So I'm using marbles that are small and then bigger marbles that are you know bigger than those other, other ones. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of paint on the egg center this is what I do like this and then the children will take their hands and grab this on like this and then they move it around that way the marbles make a design right on the egg and the, a lot of the children um, it seems really easy to do but like the little ones the toddlers have a little bit of a harder time moving the box just because you know their little arms are, are, are shorter and stuff but um, they have to you know, you just kind of got in, in doing this. Well, it's great hand-eye coordination yes. because truly as you're aging, the two, the three and the four-year-old are truly trying to keep the marble right. on the paint and in the picture mm -hmm. so that the marbles are painting for them. Yeah. Um, Two-year-olds maybe just shake it up, but the three and four-year-old are really watching where those marbles are going. So great crossing the midline, yeah. crossing the and midline too. And then they get too. to see, mm -hmm. you know, the, um, the different designs that it makes on there. Yeah. Great. So that's really fun. <laughs> And one of our center activities that we're going to do involves a ball. We're going to be learning about dinosaurs, they're reptiles, they lay eggs. So this is going to be our dino egg for the morning. And the children are going to hold hands and make a big circle, sit down, put their feet out, and with their feet out, that's going to become their nest. So now we get to work on listening to directions and following directions and eye-hand coordination. And we're going to be rolling the ball to the children and they get to roll it back. And that's going to be working on, like I said, their fine motor skills and having a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And it's orange and black, and that's our colors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Another activity that they really like is making volcanoes. Mm -hmm. And we can start by having cards or paper that gives a lot of different pictures and sequence of making a volcano. So we talk about what happens first, what happens next, what happens last. And then we go out to the sandbox and we put our volcano together. The children will use their fine motor skills to build one. They build a big mountain. We put a little hole in it and add a little baking soda. And then we need the vinegar. So we put some vinegar in a cup. Now you turn it into counting and math. So you can count with me. We're going to put five drops of red in here. Here we go. One, two, three, four, So I don't spill it. We'll shake it around. They get to watch the science thing. The color is mixing in. And then they get a chance to pour it. Let's we'll see if you can see this. They get to pour it on the baking soda in their volcano. 
and it foams up, makes the lava, and the volcano erupts. And they can do this over and over and over again, and they'll ask to do it a lot. They can see the colors, it leaves red on the volcano, it makes grooves in it, so you can see for like real lava, it will actually make designs on, on the volcano. It's a fun activity to do at home, too, because you have all this stuff at home that you can do, um, a simple science activity. I think the big thing about it is it takes quite a, a bunch of teamwork to make the volcano. A it's a big, big, big building project all together and then to watch it. And they can't yeah. wait. You tell them you're making a volcano. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> they can't wait to get out there and do it. Yeah. And for afternoon art, um, since we're talking about dinosaurs, we're going to talk about vegetation, we're going to talk about where they live, those kinds of things. We're going to go on a little nature walk and make a nature collage. So what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and go in the backyard or the side yard that we have here at Sunshine House and look for maybe some leaves or sticks or rocks or things that maybe the dinosaurs maybe would have been munching on or would have been around. And um, what we'll do is we'll get a bag, fill it or a bucket and bring it in and then spread it out on the table and the kids will get to pick out things that they would want on their nature collage. So, uh, you know, like I said, I have rocks, leaves, sticks, different kinds of things. They could get sand, anything that they may want to glue or stick to their collage. So we'll be looking for this. Yeah. Also at Circle Time um, this week, we will be, it's, we're going to have a dino circle. We're going to do our introductions on if you're happy and you know it. We will also be doing an action on called Dancing Paper. Um, we, it's a dancing paper, and I'm going to give each one of the child uh, crepe paper like this that they will make their paper dance. It's a story about a long strip of color paper that wished to dance, and the story tells you how the um, paper starts moving slowly and starts eventually dancing at the end of the story. So the child will be part of the story, the children will be part of the story holding their crepe paper and also moving it around and um, using their gross motor skills inside but dancing with it. We will also be doing another activity called Let's Dance for D's and we will we'll also be moving around and dancing with the children. Um, we will also be reading a book called Whatever Happened to the Dinosaurs. And it's a book called about whatever happened to the dinosaurs, where do we think they are, where can we see them still, like Ms. Lori said, in the museums, because that's what there is right now is bones of the dinosaurs. Where did they live? Um, and it tells them a little bit about it, and they can also show me or tell me what where do they think the dinosaurs live. So we will be talking about that at Circle Time. Well, very good. You know, we have um, a Jurassic Park Day where it's a parent participation day. And so we welcome you to sign up and join us. Um, it's for about an hour and a half on that certain day. And we're going to have extra and over activities that have to do with dinosaurs that week. So lots of um, probably a box with bones in it. And they're going to excavate just like they did when they were fun hunting dinosaur bones. So fun day. So, yeah. Thank you for coming. And we'll see you soon. Bye. 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 Have a great week.